Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are in the dining room and we will be working on the fireplace, specifically the hearth. And if you've ever wondered, can you paint mosaic tile? Hmm, stick around and find out. Okay, so the last time we were in the dining room, we were putting up all of this molding and trying to get this very moody and dramatic feeling in the dining room, and I think it turned out really nice. So go check out that video and get caught up on the dining room. But now we are going to be working on the fireplace, specifically the hearth, and I really wanted to go with this mosaic tile. Um, I found quite a bit of inspiration on Pinterest, and unfortunately, the more I shop for mosaic tile, it is extremely expensive to get the authentic, historic, hot home type of uh, mosaic tile. So I decided to go to Floor and Decor and kind of see what they had. And unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of the colors that I wanted, so I had to resort to painting. Okay, so I feel like I had a successful trip to Floor and Decor. Here's the plan. I have this mosaic tile that is unglazed that I feel like I can paint pretty easily. Um, but I did quite a bit of research with Bob Vila, so we'll touch on that a little bit later just on the steps. But I also found this border tile um, that is also unglazed, but I felt like that would look really pretty around the border. So now comes the colors. I wanted to pick some colors that are going to kind of flow throughout the house. We are renovating our entire historic home, but the rooms specifically that are adjacent to each other are the dining room, our bedroom, and the living room. And so far, these are kind of the colors that I have picked. And I feel like they kind of flow really nicely together. They're very moody, and which is what I love for the historic home. But Jasper from Sherwin-Williams is actually the color in our dining room. And so I didn't want to use this. I wanted to use something that was a little bit more complimentary to it. So since this is the border, I was thinking about doing something like this. I think that would look really nice uh, just to kind of add in a little bit of color. And then in our bedroom, dark room is actually the color in our bedroom. And then this is kind of a little bit of the colorway that we have going on. So I am yet to do the living room, but I have an idea of what I wanna do along with the vestibule. But I feel like these colors are gonna flow really nicely. So let's get going. Okay, so the first step was to put down the transition strip. So we have a metal transition strip that goes next to the tile and then a wooden one that we put next to the wood floor. So Keith put that down and then I came back and put down all of these um, tiles which required me to cut a few and I wanted to make sure that everything fit properly before I put down the mortar. So unfortunately, the only way to cut our tile is just this really cheap tile saw that we have and boy did it spray water. It was everywhere, but we didn't have any other way to cut it. So um, I, I feel like we were successful at doing it. Now these tiles are so small, so um, I'm actually very pleased with how well it turned out with um, the accuracy of it because it was hard and I got soaking wet. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to mention is that once we got this tile down, I did use a white mortar, but I couldn't get all of the mortar to stop seeping through. I did my best, but there was some that made its way through. So um, after it was down, I used this little scraper tool and I went through every little crevice with this little tool because I was painting the tile and I did not want any of that coming through. So I meticulously went through and just scraped between every single tile to make sure no grout came through. Okay, so now that the tile is down, it is time to paint. So I went to Pinterest and looked up a few ideas, got some inspiration, and came across this design that I thought would be really cool for our historic home. And so yes, you guessed it, I got out my little paint brushes and painted every single tile with these brushes. It took a little while, but 
it was actually motivating and calming to see the design coming to life. I actually painted a few tiles before I started painting everything just to make sure the colors were gonna work and I was pleased with how they turned out. I am loving this pattern and how it's turning out. It looks so good and just like I envisioned. So now I'm sure a lot of you are like, oh Hannah, that is not going to last. It is gonna scratch all the things. Well, um, here's a little insider tip. I actually did this several weeks ago and there are no scratches. We have a dog and he has come running over this and we have chairs that have been on it. We walk over every day and it has not scratched at all, except mm, in one place. But I'm gonna give Keith a little bit of grace here because he was putting this metal fireplace insert back in and it is metal and it's very heavy and he did scratch up a few tiles in the very back, but I feel like those are gonna be covered. So how did we get to this finish? Okay, this is where Bob Vila comes in. So I did my research and Bob Vila says to use polyacrylic over the tile. And so also what he says is to use just a sponge with pantyhose over it. And that will eliminate any streaking or stroke marks or anything like that. So that is what I did next. I put probably, I mean, I was a little overprotective, I think. I really think you probably only need like three coats, but I'm gonna be honest, I use like four or five. Um, just because this is the center of our home and it will receive some kind of traffic, not like, you know, entry door type traffic, but still people are gonna be walking along here, chairs are gonna be on it, so I wanted it to be nice and thick. So actually, I think it turned out really, really nice. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of painting the tile of our hearth, and it looks so good, I love it. And please come back for our next video because we will be putting a tile around the fireplace, building the mantle, and hopefully building our bookcase. It's gonna look so good. So I hope this video inspired you to try your own project of painting your tile. And if you have tried any of these, uh, please comment below. I would love to hear about your projects. And if you wouldn't mind, I would love it if you subscribed. It is totally free and like the video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, the video clips I get for you guys. I just had somebody come up to me and be like, I just saw you taking a video. Are you sure you don't want me in the video? And it's like, okay, <laughs> this is for YouTube. It's for all for you guys. <laughs>